Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. I have been so excited to show you guys this commission showcase. Uh, really, really have not uh, been able to keep myself from get, wanting to get this video put out for you guys. Um, what a model to show you today. We have none other than the Silent King himself, uh, the phenomenal centerpiece model from the Necron range from uh, 140,000 by Games Workshop. Uh, just a really, really cool model. Uh, overall, just uh, exceptional, exquisite amounts of detail uh, and two really cool other models obviously to go with, um, with obviously the man himself. Uh, the whole project's been completed by Amy, one of the artists here at Siege, who's done an absolutely phenomenal project uh, and job working on this uh, this just absolutely jaw-dropping miniature. Uh, so let's just uh, jump in without further digression or fanboyism of the model and uh, have a look. Um, so we'll start with the men here, which obviously the uh, kind of like shield things. We'll start with the uh, the cake before the cherry, let's put it that way, uh, and have a look at these. Again, really nice, subtle tonal sort of change from the bottom of the uh, sort of obelisk or floating obelisk kind of thing, uh, all the way up to the top with that lovely vibrant kind of uh, jade kind of color. Um, Really nice subtle glow effects there just on that central orb and also on the sort of energy spike at the bottom as well, which is just cool. You can see it's got loads of uh, sort of Necron tier kind of text on there. Also, it's all been sort of highlighted uh, to look like it's glowing, which is just awesome. And again, Amy's done a really, really exceptional job on this piece. Uh, so that's just one of them. The other one's exactly the same. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long to look at the man himself. So without further ado, let's pull forward the Silent King. Uh, now, because it's quite a large miniature, I am going to just... Uh, start with this part of him first so obviously the uh the trapped uh, katan or satan at the top and then obviously having a look at him and his two sort of guards which are really cool uh, as you can see amy's done an incredible job of painting all aspects of this from the blended weapons to the different obelisks floating at the top the obviously the satan um all the golds and silvers and everything that's been done and then we've got this incredible metallic teal cape which is just exquisite it really really is um so let's uh let's start this top part you can see the katan here uh, just with that lovely purple sort of gem uh, in the center of his chest as well all the energy spikes highlighted through multiple stages nice subtle green and glow on the inside of that sort of cowling that's kind of like holding him trapped which is just awesome you can see that subtle green tinge on the bottom parts of that metal work um or living metal should i say um Again, you've got the two obelisks here, very similar to the men here, just obviously that lovely sort of uh, tonal variation from the bottom of those all the way up to the top with all the green sort of uh, Necron tier text that's all been sort of put there. We've got these uh, really cool uh, sort of uh, bodyguard wardens here, as you can see, and they're all painted to a super clean finish. Uh, we've got this lovely kind of energized Necron blade as well, uh, but there is so much detail on this miniature if we just turn it around so you can see. Uh, just all the work has been put in lovely kind of subtle effects there just on the metal work as well some nice sort of different tones and hues just put into those metals you can see a nice purplish kind of hue just there on, on the, as well as just to complement the green um, if we move around you can see obviously every little bit of detail fully edged multiple stages of highlighting all the orbs super vibrant and glowing as well which is great we'll look around the back of the model I know the front is where you guys want to see mostly but uh, just to show you the absolute care and attention that's lavished across all the miniatures that we produce here at Siege for you guys our clients uh, again, you can see the nice sort of really, really cool uh, uh, sort of um, copper areas of the miniature as well, all fully highlighted there, as you can see. Also, um, I do love the uh, the two little bodyguards that he's got. As if uh, the Silent King himself is not imposing enough, he's got these two really, really sinister looking bodyguards with massive uh, sort of uh, blades as well, which is just cool. You can see the lovely work and care and attention that's been put into those blades. Uh, then we'll have a look at this just awesome metallic sort of teal or turquoise cape that the Silent King has got. I love the fact that it's kind of like it's not attached to him and it's got uh, sort of orbs that connect uh, through sort of uh, the, a floating kind of effect, which is awesome. So it looks like it just follows him, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, if we just have a look, at obviously, the Silent King in more detail. So I'll put him forward a little bit for you guys to see. Just really, really well executed, really clean. Uh, he's actually really massive as well when you look at the size of him compared to other Necron sort of command models or HQ models. He's just huge. Uh, you can see all the sort of pipes and things all fully painted on his sort of abdomen. We've got a nice little red pipe in there just to add a splash of colour. I love all the work that's been put onto the sort of headdress and crown as well. Nice sort of tonal variation just on that crown, which is just really, really cool. Um, 
You've obviously got his staff as well, which is like an obsidian kind of pommel and handle, uh, all fully edged there on every single part of it, uh, all the way down to the bottom. You've got the sort of uh, bottom sort of minor blade that's also got the sort of transitional colours and sort of nice uh, contrasting sort of hues of light and dark and mid on there, which is awesome. Uh, again, this beautiful cape, uh, metallic cape, which I think is very fitting and just gives him a real sort of royal elegant kind of look. Uh, the steps as well. So you've got these awesome steps, again, all fully highlighted. Then the bottom here, we have obviously the energy spike that levitates the uh, the throne, so to speak. Uh, and again, the basing scheme for this whole project is obviously like a just a sort of like an ash waste kind of uh, scheme with some scattering of skulls. Again, you can't have 40k bases without some skulls on them. Uh, and obviously nice tufts and little bits of slate and things on there as well, which is just awesome. Uh, so that's this beautiful Silent King model, which we've uh, absolutely loved painting for our clients. Uh, and done a phenomenal job on it. And uh, I do hope that you've liked this showcase ever so much it's been an absolute pleasure to record it and to uh, to produce this phenomenal model for our clients so i do hope you like it ever so much thank you for watching i'll see you very soon on the next one take care bye bye So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.